I want to be cared for. I want to swoon with someone. I want to watch movies, eat popcorn with her, go to the movie theater. Like, <laughs> you're so mean. Hey guys, here's that GTA guy coming in with another schizophrenic episode of mine. And you know it, it's that time of the month. It is time to keep you guys updated on the biggest clown in town. His words, not mine, by the way. Joker Gang Gang. Joker Gang Gang. Yeah guys, the Florida Joker is back at it again. I have been keeping an eye on him and he hasn't been as active as one would expect. I guess he must have been in serious conversation with his Jewish legal team. Talk to both my Jewish lawyers. To work on the best strategy to get that GTA money. Either that or he has been too busy with his girlfriend because yeah guys, apparently the Florida Joker found a partner and they have been together for five years dude. So if you ever feel like there is no one out there for you, remember that this dude with this face was able to hold a relationship for over five years you have no excuse now what's good by the way the comments on this fucking post are so mean dude <laughs> like this fucking guy is all the men in the world and she went for you that's fucking wild for this other one like i think the crack is getting to your head man or like this guy here that he went full villain monologue here like if you were a real iteration of the joker you wouldn't give a shit about getting money from rockstar so shut the fuck up about it you sound like one of those letters crying about getting rights no one is on your side unless they're as broke as you playing the victim of the system and looking for a handout. You should take pride that the character vaguely looks like you. After all, it's not about money, it's about sending a message, right? I mean, fucking hell, chill, dude. What the fuck, man? I <laughs> like to know that this guy, I can't wait to run you over in the game. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Then as I was talking this dude again, I came across with this. Remember how in his documentary he was throwing some hands at the training bag? Well, it turns out this dude actually participated in some amateur boxing matches, or more like a bum fight, like a lot of people were saying. <laughs> but believe it or not, this dude with those fucking noodle arms actually knocked out someone. Just look at the pristine technique these two fellas have put on display for us, dude. But yeah, anyway, coming back to the present. Lawrence here has been talking about GTA 6 again. <laughs> it cracks me up that he keeps coming out of the bushes for some reason. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. Yeah, there are two things I want to mention here. First, not how he has merged now with his famous phrase, GTA, we gotta talk. And second, he says that this is the reminder of the final warning. <laughs> like, this guy has been giving the final warning to Rockstar for months now. This is a reminder to the final warning i keep getting harassed wherever i go the more i can't eat i can't eat, even eat a goddamn pizza while someone asking can i have a picture mr gta joker no you can't have a picture i'm eating man looks like the fame is getting to his head now imagine denying to take a picture to one of the two or three people that must ask him for a photo what a clown dude anyways for a whole month for a whole month i've been giving you a free publicity Free policy. I want my money. So yeah, guys, this is escalating quickly. Remember back then when he was only asking for one million? GTA, we, we got to talk, GTA. We got to talk. Or not, you got to give me like a mil or two. So what's up? But since his final warnings kept getting ignored by Rockstar, he upped the price to 10 million now. My birthday is January 11th. If you do not contact me three days after my birthday, I want 10 million dollars. 10 million dollars for my suffering pain definition of a character stop playing with me when did gta ever make the news never that gta never made it to the news you say hmm let's see about that never has there been an opening like this in the entertainment industry this week grand theft auto 5 pulled in 1 billion dollars in sales in three days it's a video game that is shattering sales records that is to say the least you know, Michelle Rowland, the game made almost $1 billion in sales. I've been talking about it or lower. Uh, this is after the trailer for the company's new 
GTA. What made Grand Theft Auto 3 the first major breakout hit in the series so memorable wasn't the fact that you could go around clubbing people with baseball bats or shooting them in the back of the head with guns, but the fact that it was an open, 3D, living, breathing world where you could do whatever you wanted at any time, find your own way to have fun, and that the characters were so deep and so interesting. When did GTA ever make the news? Never. And you're not gonna lock me up, GTA. You ain't gonna put me in no psych war. Keep playing with me. Keep playing with me. I'm gonna break that kid out the psych ward right now. Show you the real joke. I'll break that kid out the psych ward now. Give him a laptop and we're gonna hack your system again. Keep playing. So yeah, that last bit was referring to that kid that got sentenced to life in a psych ward for hacking and leaking Rockstar a few weeks ago. Imagine if he would go and try to do that in real life, that would actually be a true Joker move. Did you ever wonder how this guy would look without the tattoos? Well, you will regret ever thinking that. That was not funny, not funny, right? Y'all say I look like P.B. Irving. I removed my face tats because I haven't got an old pussy since I got these face tats, so I had to remove them. So, can you help me find a girlfriend? I don't care if she fat, skinny, what nationality, what race. I just, I just want to be loved again. I just want a girlfriend. I need some pussy in my life, you know? I like long walks on the beach. I like going to the movies. I like riding bicycle, rollerblading. Uh, I'm a fun guy. I like to do a lot of things. And since I got these face tags, I haven't got no pussy. Like, I just want to know what pussy feels like again. I want to be loved. I want to be hugged. I want to be cared for, I want to swoon with someone, I want to watch movies, eat popcorn with her, go to the movie theater, like, <laughs> you're so mean, so, so please tag a girl that's willing to date me now that I got all my face tags removed. <laughs> that was just fucking nightmare fuel, man. Then there is this, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the entire Joker gang having a public schizo episode. Imagine you're walking around and you come across these clowns yelling and giggling like they've just escaped out of some mental facility. Jesus, dude. And finally, the last update on our main character here was posted a few days ago, and surprisingly, he has changed his mind. Apparently, he realized that he ain't getting shit from Rockstar, so now he's pulling back on the lawsuit strategy and wants to actually voice the character in GTA 6. <laughs> GTA, GTA, we got it. Talk. Take two, we gotta talk. I'm really not trying to sue y'all, so I'm gonna give y'all extra month. Hit me up, let me voice the character. Let me voice the character, give me more storyline in the game and give me a few mil. Oh, sorry, my bad, he's still asking for a few mil. <laughs> By the way, this guy is asking for that amount of money when in reality, not even someone that would voice a main character would earn close to that amount. This guy is delusional. Give me a royalty to the offer. Let's make, let's make history happen, man. Y'all see what I did for the game. We made news, we made the blogs, everybody's covering me. Everybody love me, man. Everybody know me at the GTA 6 Joker, the Florida Joker. Find somebody else in Florida, let alone in Florida, whole state of Florida, Miami, that that character is betrayed off of. Stop playing with me, GTA 6. Where's my money? Call me, let's make this deal happen. I ain't trying to do all this low lawsuit, lawyers, all this and that, but if I got to, I will. Y'all got a month to hit me up. Let me voice the character. Throw me some bread. Let's work. GTA, we got to talk. Take two, where my money at? Let's go. Yeah, take two. You heard the guy. Where is his money, huh? He is giving you free publicity. Free publicity. Free publicity. I want my money. So yeah, guys, there you have it. That was a small update on the GTA 6 story, the Joker situation. I actually wonder if that character would even play a part on the game's main story, or if it's just an easter egg for the trailer and we will never see him again. That would be fucking hilarious, dude. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Subscribe if you think that this guy is the biggest clown in history, and go watch my other videos on this dude. I've made a summary of his documentary, because yeah, believe it or not, someone made a documentary about this guy, but it is hell alone so if you want to watch the highlights i would put the video card on the final screen of this video i am the gta guy take care and have a good one